Hello everybody and welcome back to Hearts of Iron where we are currently crushing the Finnish resistance. There's just not much left there. Yeah, they just capitulated. That quick. Okay. They announced their total surrender to us. So, what are we going to take here? We're going to take this state. We're going to take this state. Everything else, we're going to puppet. This will create a little bit of border gore. But that is what we want. So we'll go ahead and end that. And we're done. Excellent. So Greater Finland here. This is our puppet. And thus it is in our faction. We didn't want this territory because it is better off to not be under our control. Because there are no resources there. We only wanted this territory for the resources. That's literally the only reason. So let's see what we can do as far as infrastructure construction goes. We can build con we can build infrastructure in all of these. We only really want to build it in locations where we fully control where there's resources. Now, this becomes a bottom priority naval base now. That's no longer a thing. Excellent. We do have free military factories. Yeah, that's to be expected. Okay, so what are we going to do over here? Or perhaps over here. Like, what's our next move? Our next next move is to crush the, the remnants of the common turn, which is Carpathia here. Now, are they... They're giving manpower to other garrisons. Military access to nationalist Spain. Now, Romania is not involved in this at all. Okay. So they're part of the common turn, which means that they're definitely not going to join the allies. And that is fantastic. As far as independent nations go that are not part of the Allies faction, there's still Estonia, Latvia, and the Republic of Belarus over here. And then there's Turkey, there is the Georgian Socialist Republic, the Republic of Armenia, Republic of Turkmenistan, the Uzbek Soviet Socialist Republic, which is not part of the Comintern, and Kazakhstan. There's also Saudi Arabia, Yemen, and Oman, and then there's Mauritania. As far as I know, oh, Korea. There's also Korea. There is also Korea. Is this technically a land border? This is technically a land border. Okay. So we're going to tell these guys to make their way out over here. Their plan, of course, is going to be to spearhead something like... Not to spearhead. <laughs> Their plan is going to be to offensive line something like this. So they'll make their way over there. It'll take them a while. That's fine. We're going to immediately... See, 1966. They are currently democratic, but they're going to go communist in 66. Here in about two years. If we were to justify on them right now, this would this would take 185 days. Only six months. I think we're going to wait until their election in 66 to attack Korea. So this is obviously our next play. These guys we're just going to bring into the fold. And they are going to be fine. Now, we are going to need to select the army, or rather the garrison force over here. These guys, they are going to get area defense here, 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 and here. Bringing this up to 65. That's huge. That's a lot. Without that, look how little that is. Okay, that's, that's a whole lot in these couple of areas. That's kind of insane, right? I feel like that's slightly insane. Nevertheless... That's what we'll do. So our garrison forces need to continue to grow. Now we are currently recruiting eight at a time, but we're letting them fully train. And we're just going to build up our manpower in the meantime. We do need to give orders to this army, I believe. Which army is it? Yes, this army. And to that end, we need to start thinking about attacking over here. We have military access through the US.
They wouldn't allow us to frontline there, but we do have military access. That said, we could probably naval invade here. This does not look well defended. Indeed. Well, it has four levels of coastal fort. What about up here? Four levels of coastal fort, five levels of coastal fort. Okay. Five levels of coastal fort there as well. Sure. That's fine. For the time being, let's just go ahead and queue up our land forts along these borders. These are going to remain a low priority. We're not too concerned about it. But we do want to get this queued up as quick as we can. Not really as quick as we can. We're not really in a hurry for it. But we'll get it done. Eventually. There we go. As well as up over here. So we'll need forts here. Like so. Uh, is that impassable? No, that's not impassable. So something along the lines of this for the land forts. There we go. And then we'll need some coastal forts over here as well. Again, this is all super low priority and we're probably never going to finish it. We'll just get it queued for now. Just in case we have spare time to work on it. It's definitely very laggy to queue these up. I'm not entirely sure why, but there we are. Is this our territory? It actually is. Okay. That's good to know. And we'll get these couple of coastal forts queued up over here. Like so. There we go. Just to create as many losses as possible. Oh, hello. This too. Just to create as many losses as possible if they attempt to attack us. So this is our territory, which of course means that these guys should also be working to area defense this. Okay. Sounds good. So that'll be fine. We'll work on this for the time being, and we are going to be attacking the Carpathian Socialist Republic soon enough. That's going to be in another roughly 60 days. We did just get these infantry divisions, and they can immediately... Head out to garrison that new area. Excellent. I do want to work on our operatives here. This guy's going to get killed. Hmm. I didn't realize he got jailed, but okay, sure. I must have just clicked straight through that. How are we doing on the fascism here anyway? 37? It needs to continue to go up. Okay. So we're going to have this guy stop working over here. Looks like we have our cooperation going nicely there. This cooperation is probably okay, and honestly, this is where we need to be. So we'll work on this state for the time being. That will be just fine. And how are we doing for the actual resources over here? We can see that we're getting four and one. Okay, that's fine. And that will come up over time as we build up the infrastructure and as we build up our compliance. So that will be magnificent. Of course, we're currently chilling at zero manpower. That's to be expected. These guys, are they maxed out on their manpower for right now? The answer is no, they are not. But next month tick, they should be. Okay, sounds good. That will be just fine. The United States is still our target. We'll get there eventually. We're playing the long game here. Because I feel like that's what we have to do. We're just going after what resources we can. Right now, the resources that these guys provide, honestly, manpower. Not really anything else. And we may eventually integrate some of these. Eventually. But honestly, that's no better than just taking them outright. And that's a little odd to me. I feel like if you integrate them via that system, that you shouldn't get the non-core malice for those states that you integrate that way. I think that that's the way that it should work. 
Unfortunately, it does not work that way. But yeah, I, I think diplomatic integration should work just fine. So these guys, they don't currently have orders, and they should definitely get some. So let's tell them... I mean, we could come down over here and conquer Oman, Yemen, Yemen and Saudi Arabia if we really wanted to get the fuel. We could tell them to start working on a naval invasion from here into, say, Oman. Like that. Or rather, that's Yemen. No, I don't want to delete that. I want to create that order. There we go. Okay. So that order is created. These guys are currently not aligned, and that's great for us. What resources do they have here? Well, they have two fuel. That's not really what we're interested in, necessarily. What we're more interested in is a staging ground versus Saudi Arabia and Oman. We'd like to take this territory, and that would be absolutely great. This is more of a staging ground as well right now. And that'll be just fine. We are nicely at peace. That's always good to see. We've generated 36% world tension. We should probably think about chilling for a little bit after the Carpathian invasion. What's the UK think of us right now? Minus 11. We're going to go ahead and boost relations with them. We're also going to boost relations with the US. We do not want either of those powers to attack us at this time. We have things in the pipeline to deal with the UK, specifically their election in 67. But we want to tread carefully for right now. We are low on manpower. We have risen up our war support very nicely. I'm happy about that one. And we can't do any war propaganda at this time. We don't need stability. We don't need stability really at all. So that's okay. This all looks to be completely fine. So what do the paramilitary trainings actually do? Give some army, army experience and fascism support. Okay. But I mean, they already have a pretty decent amount of fascism support. We may need to uphold that at some point. The army experience isn't necessarily the worst thing, though. So maybe we should go ahead and do some of that. So, like... That costs half a political power point per day. Okay, so there's no upfront cost there. Interesting. So we could do like two of these. That would eat up all of our political power. In fact, that would eat up half a point per day. That's okay. That's completely fine. We'll go ahead and let that happen. Now, it does bear noting that our garrison forces over here are under strength. That's to... He hello, pause menu. That's to be expected for right now. These guys over here, they should remove all orders, and they should be told to naval invasion support simply here. No accessible regions. They should be told to move down here. And then naval invasion support that. So once again, they don't like to move through some of these regions, which is a little odd to me. I'm not sure why they're doing that. But that's fine. How are we doing on our supplies? Ah, we have an excess of steel right now. So we're going to back off our trade order from the UK a little bit here. And that should put us at exactly even. Okay, now we're negative. But that's fine. We're okay with being slightly negative right now. Cannot deploy a cruiser hull because insufficient manpower. Fair enough. We are putting a lot into our navies right now. So we are going to continue to tick forward here until the month tick, when we'll get 18.57k manpower. What do we need for our manpower? We need 
None for reinforcements. Okay. And we don't actually know how much we need for our navy, although we do see here that we need, like, almost no manpower for our training cadres over here. Okay, these guys need, like, 2,000 yet. 3,000. Those two together are, like, 6,000. But this month tick should still be pretty solid. We probably don't want to be recruiting eight garrison divisions at once if we want to build up a stock of manpower. But I kind of don't want to build up a stock of manpower right now. Right now, what I want to do is get our garrisons set up. We know that we are a ways away from that still. Th these guys, after all, they need double what they've got right now. These guys, they need a whole lot more than that. These guys, they need a whole lot more as well. So that's all something that we can do while at peace. And our world tension is dropping. That said, once we begin this invasion, it's going to go up again. You'll note we're not doing any other justification, and there's a reason for that. So there's our month tick. We got a decent manpower chunk there. This is likely to go away. Very likely to go away. I'm still surprised that these guys aren't in the common turn. Very strange. Maybe they'll form the common turn or something. At any rate, I'm going to do a region-wide industrial integration here. And we are... I should have looked to see where that was going to be. But we're going to make a synthetic refinery where we can here. We do have a fuel shortage, and I would like to shore that up. I would like to not necessarily be as reliant on foreign imports. Well, let's see, where was that? Do we actually get to... Oh, over here. There it is. Excellent. And we'll make that be a top priority. Wonderful. I think we'll go ahead and move this down the priority list to be in this position where it's slightly slower. I want to get all of these at full speed here. All of these civilian factory conversions. Excellent. So that'll be fine. We currently do have an excess of manpower. Which is great to see. That will go away the moment that we deploy these guys. But that's going to be in or March. So we're going to have several ticks before then. I'm quite content with that, actually. I'm quite content. So if we go into our production, we can see that that cruiser hull did indeed deploy because we had the requisite manpower. And that's fantastic. Let's actually take a look at our naval compositions here. So we have a ways to go on these reinforces. This fleet here, why is this only four light cruisers? Four light cruisers, we want... Or 20 light cruisers, rather. We want 20 battleships. We want this to be the same sort of loadout, right? I want these to be very generic forces right now. This is not the most efficient way to do things, but it is a way to do things. <laughs> okay, so we'll do that. And these guys are currently only two light cruisers. So we're going to bump that up to 20 as well. We're going to put in battleships. 20 of those. We're going to put in destroyers, 20 of those. And we're going to put in submarines, 20 of those. Okay. And then that one's correctly set up. So we have a long ways to go on reinforcing our ships. I'm not surprised by that. We are currently capped on our naval experience, though. And to that end, our destroyers are already maxed out, right? So if we go into our Destroyer Hull Mark IV, we can see these are already done. So I want to do perhaps submarines next. So let's see here. This is the 1944 Submarine Hull Mark II currently. So that's this one. We want to create a variant of that. And we want to bump this up to maximum. And looks like these are already there. This is the improved snorkel module slot engine. The submarine looks like it's already good to go. So that's fine. We're going to do the cruisers next, then. This is the 1944 Cruiser Hull Mark I. 
and we're going to create a variant of that and we're going to put in say we'll have these be like anti-air here and I'd like at least some anti-air in it we'll go I think for medium batteries here and then this one is a rapid fire gun which we'll put in as like a light cruiser batteries like so and then this one will also do a rapid fire gun and then this one I think will do another medium gun I have no real reason for this. I'm doing this almost at random. <laughs> so a light cruiser battery for here. This one will be fully upgraded. The fire control system to fire control three. We're going to put in radar because we have multiple anti-air weapons on this and we have no anti-submarine weapons. That's what the destroyers are meant for. The cruiser engine four will be fine. And then we'll put dual purpose secondary batteries and cruiser armor four on here. And we'll go ahead and save that. That becomes the Cruiser Hull Mark II, I believe. And we then want to convert this over to the Cruiser Hull Mark II. Yes, we will lose production there, but that's fine. And then this one as well, we want to move over to the Cruiser Mark II. This one here. Excellent. And I think that was all of them. Yes. Okay, so next up, let's go ahead and do our heavy ships. So the heavy ship hull... The 1944 heavy ship hull here. This is the Mark I, and we will go ahead and modify this guy. So this is the anti-air module here. We'll put that in. We're not really too focused on anti-air, but we'll go ahead and run radar. Fire control 3. We'll bump the engine up to maximum. Dual purpose secondary. Uh, we want dual purpose secondary batteries 2. There we go. And battle cruiser armor 3 or battleship armor 3. I think Battleship Armor Armor 3, because these are our battleships, right? Armor 30, Armor 40. Reduces our max speed. Increases our surface visibility a little bit. Yeah, we'll go with that. Okay, and then this up here, we're going to put in another anti-air gun. And then this will be heavy batteries, just like all the way across. Purpose of this is like naval shore bombardment. Okay, there we go. And these are twos. Yes. Actually, the dual purpose one is probably the one that we want. So we'll go ahead and save that. That is the heavy ship Mark II. And we'll go ahead and swap over to making those. Yes, we will lose progress. I'm aware. But let's just get those started as soon as possible. And we'll get these started as well. Oh, we're going to lose so much progress here. In February. And 21 March. You know what? I'm just going to do it. We're going to lose so much production. And I don't like it. But we'll get it going. Okay. We do have free dockyards. So I actually want to start up another one. Making heavy ships. We still have free dockyards. Can we just duplicate these? Be nice if we could. I don't think there's a button to duplicate them, though. So we'll do another one making heavy ship hulls. These take so long to build that I'd like to have multiple going at the, at the same time. So that will get us up to six heavy ships building at a time. The others I'm okay with building two at a time. And how are we doing on our steel down here? Well, we're lacking in the steel. There's no doubt about it. How much overall steel are we short right now? Right now we're short... 200 steel and 47 chromium. I do expect the chromium to turn its way around. The steel, I do not expect to turn around. You can see here we're only getting 2 and 5 steel over here. That's expected for these current compliance levels. That is fully expected for these two compliance levels. And our infrastructure is going to increase over time as well as the compliance. So that'll be just fine. When is the UK's election? 67. Korea's election isn't until 66. This is still definitely our next move, and this justification will be finished in just nine days. But we're going to chill until then, and we're going to allow our world tension to reduce. We'll attack that, and then our next move, I think, will be Yemen, which we are gearing up for. We're not even justifying on them yet, though, and that's still liberate. 
I do want to allow our world tension to drop a bit. It is, however, time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and next episode, we are going to invade the Carpathian Socialist Union. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time. <laughs>